Hello, everyone, and welcome so much to coming to our Alibaba.com match and also South Korean uh, Buyers and Sellers webinar today. Um, please, if you want to, you can comment on below about where you're watching this from and also whether or not you have something you want to sell or buy on the platform. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, also, if you want to like, if you have any questions at any time during this webinar, please just add it to the comments. And at the very end, we have a Q&A section and I will read some of the questions out and we'll have some of our lovely Alibaba.com experts here answer it for you. So yeah, thank you. Hello, Esther. Hello, Andrea. Hello. So, okay, let's get right down to business. So today's webinar is called Bringing Together Business Opportunities with the Top Products of South Korea. So South Korea is one of our many markets uh, with sellers and buyers. And so we thought today we'd have like a special focus on them. So today I'm going to quickly run down the agenda. Hello. I'm going to quickly run down the agenda for today. So first, welcoming everyone. And then we're going to have an, we're going to introduce you to our newest service called Alibaba.com Match. And we're going to have one of our founders of this of this service, Jay Wong here. And then we're gonna switch to the focus on South Korea section where we talk about some of the top products and business opportunities in South Korea with a very lovely special guest who is staying up until 2 a.m. today to have this, to have this conversation with y'all, Alicia Kim. And finally, we're gonna have a Q&A section and we're gonna wrap up for today. Hopefully you'll have fun. Remember, if you have any questions at all, you can always add it to the comments and we'll answer them at the end. So first, I want to introduce Jay Wong, who is the Director of User Operations at Alibaba.com North America. Yay, welcome, Jay. Hello. <laughs> so, hey, everyone. Yes, so both Jay and I work in the North America side of Alibaba.com, but I'm in New York, and Jay is <laughs> in... I'm in Pasadena, um, California, <laughs> West Coast. Yeah. So, okay, so why don't you first introduce yourself and what you do at the company, and like also how you came about creating alibaba.com match okay yeah so again my name is jay i'm based in um california um u.s office i've been joining for alibaba almost for um seven years and um majorly i'm, I'm managing all the u.s buyer operation team for alibaba.com so uh, we're dealing with all kinds of millions of the buyers every year um, that to help them to connect with the global suppliers more efficiently and more uh, more easily, right? And then, um, so many of our job is we develop so many digital tools, right, in the web mm -hmm. website that you can leverage search, inquiry, right? So some other uh, like week weekly deals, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. that you can connect with the um, the suppliers. And then from last year, that is, uh, we carry out this new service is called Alibaba.com Match. It's on top of those uh, digital tools that we provide. So basically, uh, we hear from our buyers saying um, um, they can, of course, they can do this job um, by themselves, right? But then, for example, uh, when they don't have time or when they have a very complicated project, right, they would love to seek the help from the Alibaba.com official, right? Mm -hmm. That's how we carry out these services by providing the U.S. local account management services and sourcing services for, for you guys um, in the U.S., so you will be connect with us and then we understand your request and then take it from there, help you to match with the um, global suppliers. Right. Because I think that what's really great about our team is that we have so many different teams in different markets and we inherently have like an understanding of each market and what who are reliable suppliers. And also it's been really, it's been really cool because I think a lot of times like these people who are trying to source have very like specific, specific needs. And I think having a human touch helps address those, right? Or what do you think is the biggest value of this service? Yeah, so um, like you said, so mainly we have uh, three um, values that we bring on the table to the U.S. small business. First is, of course, because we are working for Alibaba and we are based here in the U.S. We can be your local arm to understand your request and take it from there. And the second one is, so us, and also our platform really knows the market, right? So for example, um, China is, is known for the, most of goods of the of the productions, right? But then also, for example, South Korea, 
is really well known for the skincare and some other like a food stuff, right? So that we understand deeply about about um, the global global um, supplier supplier base. And the third one, but not the least, is we do have the digital capabilities and also the database to understand in the back end who can do the better job, right? So it will help you to narrow it down or quickly to find out who's going to be the, your red match. Right. I mean, like, what what has been, like, one of the most interesting stories that you've come across so far? Because I think, so Alibaba.com match, like, for context, launched at the very end of March this year. So it's pretty new, at least in the States. So, like, what's been, like, the most interesting story so far? Yeah, I'll see. Uh, I'll use like two stories. Um, first one is very regular, right? So for commercial, um, the small business, they want to find someone who can do their designs, their their products in the other part of the, of the world, right? So for example, uh, last of Christmas, we just helped one guy uh, from, from Alabama, right? He wants to find some diverse supply uh, in Southeast Asia, right? To, to, um, to diverse his uh, current U.S. only supplies, then we quickly help him um, locate someone who can do this job in, in Vietnam. Right then, I heard from him that last last week he just placed the first order. That is uh, for containers of all kinds of the office supplies. Right, this is a very typical commercial uh, relationship that we have we help to build with. But the second one is so on top of like those commercial. Um, matches we did. We also help with the uh, uh, nonprofit or even some government, right? So, for example, we help with uh, Haiti. We get we help with um, Pakistan uh, for their some educational purpose. They want to find some cost-effective laptops for their kids to learn how to how to how to learn operate in the in the internet world, right? So, same thing mm -hmm. with the uh, Haiti, right? They have to rebuild after. Um, the earthquake, the central, central. Yeah. So I'll see those are very interesting stories for me, but um, we definitely have more and more and more in the back end. That's really cool. So like, um, I think briefly, it sounds like there are a lot of people who are actually already kind of interested in this service, but like, um, I guess really off the bat, like how would people, if people are interested in it, how do, how do they get involved? Um, I know part of it is they could visit the website. That's kind of above my shoulder here. <laughs> yeah, be very quick about the um, introduction, how it works, right? So um, the link showed up at the bottom. You can you can click on that. Visit the, this is our homepage or landing page um, to introduce everything um, of, of of these services. But to be very quick, introduce how it works, right? Basically. You go there and also uh, you leave out your contact information and then some of our experts will be reach out to you and um, introduce further about these services. Then um, you're gonna pay for these services. The pay, the pricing is only for covering our labor costs to help you to do this ma matching jobs, right? But it's just like only only uh, $9.99 for now. It's a limited time offer. They can go to the website and see the pricing details. And after that, we can officially launch or start these services by spend like a 30 minutes or 60 minutes to fully understand your business and also yeah. what you are looking for. And then we will take it back in our database, in our supplier database, in our digital um, capabilities of their uh, of their what they can do, right? Then help to do your match. Come back with the result. Say, hey, these three suppliers can meet your need and, and can can do do the job, right? Then you're gonna mm -hmm. decide which one you're gonna meet with. We're gonna group you guys together by video call, by email, whatever way you prefer, right? So this is this is how it works. But you can definitely find more details um, in the in the website. Yeah, of course. For example. Today is after me. It's gonna be Aisha from South Korea to introduce um, the South Korea major um, categories of Central Central. But if you want to connect with the South Korea suppliers, okay, we definitely can do the job. But for example, if we want to connect with uh, Japan, China, anywhere, we can we can do that as well. Right. I mean, I think what I what I what's always stuck out to me about the service is about how like how like. It, one, how customizable and personalized it is, but also just like the human element of it. It's like kind of being like these two people who don't know each other existed, and then suddenly you guys can bring them together and hopefully create like a long-term 
a business relationship, right? Yeah. So like like just showing in the in the video, right? So we want to um, provide the benefits of the less travel, less hustle, but build more trust by by our effort, by Alibaba's effort, by human interaction with um, the U.S. local um, teams to understand your need, and also then take it from there, then do the matching job for you. Of course, build a relationship with help you build a relationship with, with your suppliers, with your match suppliers who can help you to grow your business. Right. Cause like, hopefully if it's whole, if it's like B2B, it's going to be a recurring thing and not like a one-time purchase. <laughs> yeah. Cause I understand the B2B is really regarding on top of the thing, right? The basic thing that they can produce, it is the long-term relationship so that you can, you can work with him for long, long time yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge today, Jay. Um, I think we're going to move on to our next part, and we're going to, we're going to introduce the South Korean products and stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. Yay. And so we're going to move on to the next part where we introduce our next guest. Her name is Alicia Kim. She is an account manager for Alibaba.com South Korea. And we're going to talk a lot about, like, the. she's going to talk to us about the South Korean market and different products that are popular over there. Okay, I'm going to hand it off to you. Hi, Alicia. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, hello. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yes. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks. So, yeah, let me start. Yeah, first of all, thank, first of all, thank you for having me over to Alibaba.com Match webinar. Before I present my session, let me introduce myself firstly. Yeah, I'm Alicia Kim in charge of the Korea's gold, global gold supplier operation teams. My main responsibility is to help experts of a Korean supplier that joined Alibaba.com. As far as I know, on this webinar, most of the audience are buyers who are interested in Korean supplier. So today I'm gonna share with you two parts. Number one, I will share the information of the South Korea market by e-commerce perspective and region perspective. And number two, also we share South Korea supplier top industry and information of the reliable Korean GGS. So, yeah, first, how much do you understand South Korean market? South Korea market. Here is uh, to it. 2022 cross-border e-commerce expert stati statistics. Korea e-commerce expert top 10. The chart on the left is divided by number of the traders. Beauty industry account for 75%. Apparel and food and beverage account for the next largest share. Uh, yeah, the 10 digit H HS code is shown below so you can check the detail category by code. And the chart on the right shows the top 10 by trade amount. Beauty industry count for 55% followed by consumer electronic and home appliance. Even considering the difference in unit price, beauty is the overwhelming high. And there is a regional trend throughout 2022 uh, written by K Office. So the picture on the left is a brave American's per perception of the each item as shown in the picture. Positive response were received for design in fashion, effectiveness and quality in beauty and taste in food and about intention to use Korean product and service in the future, Americans answered food, laptops, home appliance, and unfamiliar Korean brand accounted for 38%. So we have a look at the Korean market so far. So let's go look what are the top product category for South Korea. It is not very different from the 
pre previous uh, record of the e-commerce expert Korean suppliers. Top Korean supplies top product industry number one is beauty and personal care, and number two is food and beverage. Consumer electronic and health medicare also account for a large percentage. In the beauty, all industries such as skincare, cosmetic, and tools are popular. And in food and beverage, traditional Korean products such as soju, uh, instant noodle are popular. And here are to just what a South Korea team recommended. So I prepared totally eight GGS from South Korea. And first the seller is the name is Precure. Yeah, the so main industry is healthcare and main product is KF94 mask and healthy brown rice bar. And Company eager to enter the U.S. market, and they are preparing some certification to uh, for U.S. market. Yeah. Second one is the Novarex, and the main industry is health supplement. They have a lot of the certificate for U.S. and, uh, for example, FDA, COA, GMP, ISO 9001. ISO 14001, ISO 45001, and the main product, oh, sorry, oh, yes, yeah. The main product is a vitamin C supplement and collagen powder. The main export company is, uh, country is Asia and North, North America. Yeah, third one is the NNC. The, and NNC give us give me a picture of this picture. And they said it, they have a worth experience of the cosmetic and confidence of the expert. And the main product is cosmetic and skincare. And yeah, main expert country is uh, worldwide. Yeah. And the uh, next one is Cosmex MBT. Uh, the main industry is health supplement, and they have a plant in South Korea and US. The main product is health supplement, and the main export country is, most of the export is for, uh, for, from America, and next one is Asia and Europe. Yeah. So next one is the Big Pie. Uh, it's a cosmetic company and industry is the beauty, skincare, and they said they have a product, design, logistics, all in one service. And they have experience trade with over 3,000 beauty, especially buyer in over 200 countries. The main product is skincare and main expert company is South Asia, North America, West Eastern Western Europe. And the next one is Mi Plus Korea, also beauty industry and Iris Beauty. And they have a also they have a, a lot of a lot of the certification. Uh, for example, CGMP, MSDS, and COA, COM. The main product is Irish perm lifting and skincare serum. Main export country is America, Asia, Europe. And you can see the product from this company. And next one is the, maybe this is the uh, last information which I want to introduce. Yeah. Uh, name is the K LK Cosmetics and industry, industry is beauty, skincare. And they also have a certificate of the ISO, CGMP, MSDS, V-Level, COA. The main product is a skincare product and main export country is Vietnam, Poland, Russia. And the last one is Wealth Spam Tech, uh, also beauty industry and face care, cream, lotion. Uh, they have a certificate of the one uh, ISO 22000 and ISO 1345 and 
other ISO. The main product is whitening cream and white sun cream. Main export company is also America and Europe. Oh, it's very quickly finished my part. And here is what I have prepared. And thank you for having me again. I hope you get a business opportunity with the Korea GGS. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for introducing all this, Alicia. Yeah. Also, like um, if you have any questions, please like put them in the in the box. Um now we're going to move on to our QA section. So let's bring Jay back and let's see. If anyone has any any questions about either the Alibaba.com match service or if people are work, or like curious about any of the South Korean market opportunities or business opportunities or GGS, please put them in the box. I think there were some questions before, but flashed by really quickly. <laughs> Let me see if I can get to some. Also, thank you so much for saying hello. <laughs> um Okay, so this seems like a general Alibaba.com question, but maybe you can talk about it in terms of Alibaba.com match. This person is from Ethiopia and they're interested about trading with Alibaba.com. But like um, currently, I guess maybe we can talk about like what countries we can service and what we can, what, who we are servicing currently with this, this new service. Um. Let me let me uh, try to confirm the questions. So he's mm -hmm. trying to ask about if he, if they want to um, sell on Alibaba.com. That uh, um... I am not sure exactly, but like I feel like I guess it's like if we were to do the Alibaba.com match service, are there any like country or region restrictions currently? Um, I think so. First, um, let's let me try to understand the question from from this way. So first. In terms of the overall supplier base, we have over 200,000 in our platform that mm -hmm. comes from, I think, over um, 30, 30 countries in total. That's mm -hmm. including China and also Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, India, um, even some Europe countries like uh, Italy, Germany, and also US local. Believe it or not, we do have a U.S. local um, suppliers as well. Yeah. So I think this is our supplier base. But for your match, right, it's re really regarding as a buyer, as a purchaser, what we're aware do you want um, to source from, right? But maybe for some of the times, you don't have the sense about where should I source from, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have the preference, but then we can definitely recommend you, for example, for this type of products, right? China, it is the the uh, most developed country or advanced countries to produce the products. For example, for skincare, definitely Korea, it is the what were the known countries to produce um, the skincares, right? But for example, if you already have your preference for countries, that'd be also awesome that we can further narrow down um, which supplier in this country that you can uh, further work with. Right. Okay. Um. Some uh, one of our users is asked. One of the watch viewers is asking, "Is it is there an opportunity for people who want to sell from Pakistan?" Which I believe we do have a team in Pakistan. So yes. we so, do have the um, Pakistan team and also Indian teams that to um, bring you uh, into the Alibaba.com platform to be a seller, so which you can leverage. Uh, millions of the um, buyers come to the platform to look to look for uh, the products and try to connect uh, connect with you. Right. Okay. And then there's another question here that's a little bit more specific. And it's like, can this match service help source the right products from people in Pakistan? Uh, again, for example, I, I um, answered a question in the previous one. So like, mm -hmm. for example, uh, when the buyer they already have the preference, right? Okay, I want this one to be sourced from um, South Korea, right? Then it have to be limited in, within that countries. But most mm -hmm. of the times, right? So especially for someone who has not do the cross-border trading before, they don't have the preference. They don't know where I should start from, right? At this time, especially for some of the categories which Pakistan has a, very advantages, for example, like apparels, right? So like carpet, Centra Centra, that we can recommend this one should be your red match for the, the buyers. 
great. Okay, so that's really cool. And like, there's also another question here that says, how much is the service fee? So, and I yeah. guess maybe you can also talk about how what that would cover. Yes. Uh, the pricing for now is a limited time offer um, for $9.99. Um, that's, uh, I think it's up to the um, the beginning of, the begin only cover the beginning of August to be this uh, limited time offers. And the service, we have a three service um, standard or service cap. That is, we can offer up to five SKUs and up to eight suppliers and also 180 days um, to be the service. So for example, like, um, for some of the products, it's only like a one SKU, right? But for example, for some of the um, products, it combines with the several SKUs to put together. For example, shoes, right? Someone mm -hmm. have to be produce the shoes, someone produce the laces, someone produce the shoe box, but put, put them together. It's counted mm -hmm. as a three SKUs, right? So then, um, eight suppliers. That is, you can either choose one for eight suppliers at most, or you can choose, for example, three SKUs for eight suppliers in total, uh, depending on yourself. That's really the service cap. But um, at least, I, we believe this pricing is really competitive um, based on the service and effort that my team, that our team spent to help you to do all the job, then only bring the result back to you. Yeah, I think on top of that, also, like, if I remember correctly, because you're already working with these suppliers, like they trust, they would trust you more if you're like, hey, there's this buyer out here, he's looking for something from you. And they won't think that the buyer is going to ghost or something. <laughs> yeah, so like the we, we're really trying to like bridge the gap or build up this trust between you guys. For example, like you, you as a buyer, you don't know, uh, you don't know the supplier, but we know them. We um we do have the team in in China in uh, Japan in South Korea like Adisha right, she's based in uh, South Korea. We have the teams in the ground um in every every major countries of the world right. We understand them, so like our target is really help you to make the match and then bring the two party together so you can grow your business. Okay, thank you so much. Um, there's. This is actually a question I actually don't know the answer to. Is they're asking if there is an Alibaba team in Nigeria? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But uh, I think we would love to uh, expand there if if possible. Um, <laughs> yeah. More questions for um, for Arisha, please. Any anyone who's interested in skincare, we really have like so many um, top suppliers of the of the skincare and beauty stuff. Um, I mean, this question is not for Alicia necessarily, but like this question says, how, how is the match service different from direct sourcing? Uh, so again, we are a platform. We are a third party platform. We, we provide this uh, marketplace for you, you guys as a buyer, as a supplier to connect with your counterpart, right? So that means we are not doing the direct sourcing by ourselves, but we are ready to make the connections between um, you guys. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you that's actually not from anyone, just I'm curious. It's like, why? I'm curious about like, why, why did Alibaba.com decide to make this service in the first place? Because um, it's, it's interesting questions because um, first we are a digital marketplace, right? So our philosophy is really help the people to make it easier to do the business anywhere, right? Then that's why we develop so many digital tools that you can utilize, um, right? So like a search um, and, and also uh, talk with the people, video calls, right? So then uh, to make the job. It, it solved the problem of the skill, big skill of, of the people, right? So most of our people, they can use these uh, digital tools directly by themselves, right? But then on top of that, we see a, a group of people or a niche group of the people or niche market that is people, hey, I don't or want, it's too complicated or I don't want to spend the time by myself to do this kind of job. That's the reason why we carry out these services on top of what we already provide, but majorly, our mainly it is still the platform that you can you can use all the digital tools. But this is some value added services that we built. Okay, that's really cool. Um, 
I think right now people are just asking if there's an Alibaba.com team in each of their own countries, which <laughs> I don't know if that's really helpful right now. But, um, um, oh, this is an interesting one that's not really related to either of you, but <laughs> they're asking about whether or not Alibaba, what is Alibaba.com doing about drop shipping? Do you have a platform for that too? Which uh, I'll answer this one. <laughs> so drop shipping, we do have a, a zone. Um, you can type in the um, URL. It's called dropshipping.alibaba.com. Um, that I, I think it was um, something we built like two years ago. Uh, but the scale is not that big. Um, but for the infrastructure perspective, Alibaba Group and Alibaba.com, we also have some overseas warehouses. For example, in the US, we have over six um, warehouses in the East Coast and the West Coast um, that storaging um, millions of the SKUs of the products already here in the US, which you can um, directly purchase from um, to do the drop shipping or um if you are buying directly from from china you can utilize this uh, warehouse to store your own goods um as well okay well i think we have enough time for maybe one more question and there's a question from dot it says can you explain how alibaba.com's matchmaking service uses data and technology to facilitate better matches between buyers and suppliers um so again this is the uh, way or the mechanism that in backend that we utilize. Um, so first, um, by, for example, for the suppliers, right? It's accumulated. They, they've been working with us for 10 years, for five years. We know exactly, for example, uh, what is their best advantages of the categories? What is the, their best uh, products, essential, essential? Those are the things that for us, we can utilize as, as an employee of Alibaba. But those things are uh, or should not be or, or, or were not um, published in the, in the um, public areas. But um, anyway, this is the, the, the data. And for the technologies, right? So for example, it's really about how we can use this big data to do a matching models, right? To make you job more, more easier. For example, whether before it's a search by keyword, right? And then we're developing um, some like a new fancy tools. For example, like people are popular with the, the chat GPT, right? People can <laughs> search a, a sentences or even search a pictures that to find the one can, who can produce it, right? This is the some newer technologies that we facilitate the uh, sourcing better and, and faster. Well, that sounds really cool. And I think it's really wonderful that we can use the use our like data and technology to help people find better business opportunities. So I think that's going to do it for today. And like, as if you have any questions or if you want to learn more about the service, you can always look, go to visit our website and also reach out to, to Jay and other, other members of the team, and they'll be happy to assist and answer your questions. Again, if you have any like interest in any of the South Korean products or suppliers that you heard about here, you can also talk to us. And we'll find a good way to get you guys matched up as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you. Let's Thank you, guys. Yay.